Hello and welcome everybody to my Gunpla Tips and Tricks video. Now this video is going to be all about tips and tricks on modifying your Gunpla with strainer, strider, strainer, strainer. I don't know how to fucking say that, but basically with plastic. So there's a couple of things that you're going to need. Number one, you are going to need Plastruct Plastic Weld, which is a general purpose plastic solvent. And then you're gonna need some pieces of strainer, strainer, strainer. Mm. I don't know how to say that. Anyway, you're gonna need pieces of that plastic. And some of the best things to do with it is you could use, I use a whole bunch of the weld and stuff. And then basically, it melts the plastic and you can even rub your finger back and forth and it'll, you know, chemically burn it. And it glues two pieces of plastic together. Just right there, that has to be the biggest, most advantageous help that you can get from using any material that you have at your arsenal because now you can totally create anything you need, anything you want. I mean, yeah, like pretty much anything. It doesn't matter what you, what you want to make. You can definitely make it and shape it and bend it, as you see me here doing. You see that I'm fanning pieces out, but they're still glued down. And then all you're going to need to do is just cut and trim and sand away at whatever you want. But this is a very, very important step in the whole gunpla uh, portion of of your life because without a little bit of weld and some plastic, it's almost, I view it as if I'm actually building a real Gundam, like a life-size Gundam and the plastic weld is like actually like a torch or something or a MIG welder and I'm welding two pieces of sheet metal together to get some nice new armor pieces for my frame and I have this whole story in my head and it's, it's pretty entertaining, it's, it's super cool. And it gives it a lot more purpose in my perspective, or at least in my head anyway. It gives it a lot more purpose that way because that way you can actually, you know, make it real. It makes it real. And there's some cool techniques that you could actually do with the plastic. You know, just like the whole layering thing where you put one piece on top of the other. Well, you lay down the, the glue first and then you lay one piece on top of the other. The other cool technique is being able to weld two pieces together and then after they've dried you could hit it with the weld again and continue to seal it that way and since it is a solvent it starts to soften the plastic little by little it'll just make it softer and softer for you to continuously you know shape it or get it in a general shape and there'll be corners that you're gonna want it to be nice and melty and pliable and this is actually one of the best ways to do it you know, because since it's chemical, I, I do use torches, but that'll be another, that'll be for a later video. But you'll see me using a torch and stuff like that, which is also useful for bigger sheets or if you just want to, like, melt two pieces of plastic together quickly. Um, but you have to be careful because I burned my fingertips a lot. I mean, I burned my fingertips a whole lot. And that was not fun. No bueno. Like, no bueno which is French for a whale's vagina. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I get it. But still, it's uh, super cool to use the solvent and to use the actual little pieces of plastic. And I also do recommend that you buy different sizes, shapes for whatever you need because it just cuts down on your build time. I mean, sure, you can get like a flat piece of plastic and then you know score it and cut it and sand it to whatever you need which is great for some pieces but for more versatility and to shorten the process or if you want to add support to a piece and you don't want to make like an l bracket or an iframe if you don't want to make it from scratch they actually sell those um you know variations of of the plastic and it's super useful and i suggest that you really take the time to go ahead and look for some pieces that really benefit you now, if you did like this video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up if you do have any questions. Matter of fact, 
I want to hear what you guys have to say. If there's any other techniques that you guys have that you would like to discuss, or or if you think that I'm doing it wrong, let me know. That way I can grow with you guys, because that would be awesome. But in any case, I do want to hear what you guys have to say in the commentos, in the commentarios. Let your boy know. Holla. And as always, if you haven't done it already, please, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button because it really does help me out. And you can stick tuned for my stick tune for my next Xeno Gears Veltal build. I'm still working on it. This is actually a piece of it. You guys are kind of getting a little sneak peek to the next one. So if you did like this video, go ahead and again leave a thumbs up. And as always, take care. Happy building. Peace out, you guys.